Good day everyone, I am Janel S. Gadingan, a BS Ed Social Studies for student and I'm here to portray the role of Sir Ding Dong Dantes as Brian in the movie Seven Sundays. The purpose of this monologue is to show the importance of family bonds and the idea that despite personal differences and conflicts, family is there to support and love one another. It reminds us that it's never too late to repair broken relationships with family members. So, the movie delves in the theme of forgiveness and reconciliation. Each sibling has their own issues and grudges, and the film shows that forgiveness and understanding can lead to healing and growth. I will cover the intense scene of Ding Dong Dantes as Brian and Aga Mulak with their father and family members because it shows the conflict of their family and it is where the climax of the story happens. Tex, come here. The head of our legal department just called. My boss son says you scammed him. And he wants to sue you. Is this true? Damn it! Dex! Dex stole money from these people! That's a crime, you know! And out of all these people, you had to fool my boss son. Then why are you hiding? Of course, what do you expect? And didn't you check if the damn event was even legitimate? <sighs> well, ignorance doesn't make you a victim. It's just make you stupid and irresponsible. Because you've been like this since forever. Irresponsible. Hey, this isn't about that money. It's about your irresponsibility because you've wasted so much, right? What about your thesis? You wasted that. You could have graduated. You could have found a good job. But what did you do? Who did you choose? A girl. What do you call us then? Aren't we family? So where's your choice now? Where's Ira? Where is she? Dex, grow up, stop screwing up your life and stop screwing up other people's lives. Shut up, Dex. Shut up. Huh? What? June? Ted? Do you guys have any intention to see a doctor? Wait a minute. Do you know about this, Kuya? Are you fooling us? Why didn't you tell us right away? Did you have something to say or it's like, there's nothing, like, nothing. 
Ah, you talked. You guys talk. Just the two of you, or just you. When you called me for help at the store, did you already know that you were sick at that time? Huh. So you just used it to get me help, Kuya. And you took advantage of it. It wouldn't have come to that if you managed things properly before. Why are you taking it against me for achieving something in my life? Why? Is it my fault that unlike you and Kuya, I chose to stay and study? Is it my fault that I work hard for what I have? Is it my fault that I have the means to help you? Huh? Do you even know what I went through? What I have to give up just to help you? No, no right? Because not a single one of you asked if I was okay. You kuya, when you went to abroad to pursue your dream in dancing, did you ever hear a single complaint from me when I took over the responsibility of the store? I set aside my dreams. No problem. Why? Because no one will be left here. None of you. Not even them. I just wanted to be a good son. I just wanted to be a good father to the point where I couldn't be even be a father to my own son. But when you came back, it's like nothing happened. You're still the great one! But that's okay because it was my choice to leave that store. You know why? Because Dad asked me to say that you needed the store more that you needed a store because you have a wife and a child. So you, Kuya, have a family. And I don't. So among all of you, it's just you, all of you, you're all that I have. You're my family. Why does it always feel like I'm the enemy? Rather, family.